What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you the five games I had the most trouble 100%ing. Now this is just the five games that I have 100% on that gave me the most trouble. Not necessarily which individual game is the hardest to play, but something about getting 100% on these particular games was difficult, and that's really what I'm talking about here. To start this off, our first one up, and they are ranked from least to greatest, so we'll get there. But to start this off, at number 5, we have Planescape Torment the Enhanced Edition. So, while this isn't a particularly difficult game, there is one achievement in particular that took me forever, and that is beating it while maintaining true neutral alignment. And these days I wouldn't be surprised if there is a guide for that kind of thing, but I played this like right when it came out as the Enhanced Edition. And to do the true neutral, you basically have to go through the game while picking dialogue options that affect your alignment as little as possible so that when you end the game, you end it as true neutral. So what this involved ultimately was just a ton of going through the game, saving before conversations, figuring out which conversation options affected my alignment so I could pick the one that gave me the most neutral option. And some stuff is obvious, like, you know, don't go on murder sprees, but... It just took a long time, it was very tedious, and it was the type of difficulty where it's just like, it's not hard exactly, but it's time consuming. But that brings us to number four. Number four is actually the Technomancer. So Technomancer is a game that was released by Spiders, the same people that made Greedfall. It's the game they released before Greedfall. Overall, great game, by the way. What's difficult about this is that the combat system is kind of clunky in a weird way that honestly getting into would take too much time for the sake of this video, but ultimately the extreme mode difficulty makes enemies very, very spongy. None more so than the last boss. So to beat this game on its highest difficulty and get the achievement for that, the last boss, without exaggerating, took me probably half an hour. And it's not that it's impossible to do, it's just that this boss is ridiculous. You have to stand in a very specific place while it does a bunch of attack animations, and it's just kind of this loop you have to go through over and over again, except on this difficulty it has so much health that it just takes a nonsense amount of time. And that particular fight was probably the worst of it for me. Now that brings us to number three, The Witcher 3. So this actually took a significant amount of time, and it's not entirely the game's fault, truth be told, but I had some weird problem when I was going through the Blood and Wine DLC where like a bunch of the achievements weren't popping, even though I was doing the thing correctly, and it took a long time to get this sorted out. That combined with the Death March difficulty was a real pain, specifically, again, the last boss. I actually have a few videos up on the channel of builds that are really popular for that, actually. Just the last boss fight on Death March, as well as the problems I had with the achievements in Blood and Wine, and just the fact that this is a long game. This took an extremely long time to complete, and it wound up being very frustrating. And that brings us to number two, Tyranny. Now, of all of these, this is the one I would say that was probably the most genuinely difficult in terms of literal difficulty. Because Tyranny on Path of the Damned is hard. Jesus. Especially the first act. Like, once I got out of the first act, it wasn't so bad. But the last boss of the first act was horrendous. It took me forever to get by that. Now, after that, it does ease up a little bit because you get access to items and things throughout the game that, if you know where they are, they can make your life a lot easier. But a lot of that stuff isn't available to you in the first act, so you just kind of have to beat that boss just the best you can. And it was a nightmare. I probably died to that first boss without exaggerating 50-plus times. Tyranny is an amazing game, and you should actually definitely check it out. But be warned, that first act on Path of the Damned is very difficult. And that brings us to my number one most frustrating 100%, and that is none other than Pathfinder Kingmaker. This game has a very frustrating kingdom management system, which I'm not here to debate people about whether or not you liked it. I'm aware some people like it. I don't. So the kingdom management system, which has a bunch of achievements tied to it, which are very difficult to get without a lot of pre-planning, combined with the fact that I didn't know a ton about Pathfinder before I started Kingmaker, led itself to just a ton of research on my part. And while I honestly have a lot of great things to say about the game because it is very good, it can almost feel like the game is fighting you while you're trying to play it. Like it's just the game almost doesn't want you to just play the game sometimes. And it's frustrating as all be. And honestly, if there was any less of a great game underneath all that, it probably would have been panned. 
But if you can get past that, there is a great game there. Kingmaker is, without a doubt, the game that I have definitely had the most trouble getting 100% on. Because of that, I am very familiar with it, as it turns out, because, you know, spending all that time researching and playing a game does lend itself to a certain amount of information. Hence my story series and the review, etc. But there you go, guys, the five most difficult and or frustrating games that I've 100 percented. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.